Today, one of your new expressions will be pet peeve. We all have small things that drive us crazy, sometimes things that don't even bother other people. One of my pet peeves is when the Russian word blini is translated as pancake in English. Blini are not pancakes. Here are a couple of photos which show pancakes and blini. Apart from the fact that they are both made of flour and cooked in a pan, the similarities in there. Maple syrup is usually used with pancakes and I'm going to describe what this is and how it's made. The sap that is used to make maple syrup comes from the maple, but only one variety, the sugar maple. This is actually on the flag of Canada. The only locations that produce maple syrup are New Brunswick and Quebec in Canada and Maine, Vermont, and New Hampshire in the U.S. Because the locations are few and the season very short, about three weeks to a month, maple syrup costs about $20 a liter in the area where it is produced and a lot more the further away you go. You know, you can buy real maple syrup imported from Canada at Tierrema but you will pay about $80 a liter. A small farm or a family will put three or four taps in each large maple tree and have a bucket under each tap. The taps don't damage the tree or the bark. The sap from the buckets is collected twice each day. A larger farm or a company will not use buckets. Instead they use plastic tubing that goes from tap to tap then tree to tree. The sap flows by gravity to one central place where it is collected each day. This photo shows a very simple backyard type of evaporation unit. Most units are more complex, larger, and also indoors with the steam vented outdoors. But all of them seem to prefer to use a wood fire to heat the sap. You must boil down about 32 liters of sap to get one liter of maple syrup, so you can imagine that the boiling process takes a while. With a larger farm, the boilers are quite big and they are kept going 24 hours a day for several weeks. But for home use, you could boil down 32 liters of sap in less than a day and you would have one liter of maple syrup. In the area where I grew up, this was actually kind of a hobby in the spring and we all look forward to this time of year because the fi final product tasted so good. Speaking of the final product, real maple syrup is a 100% natural product with nothing added. After the boiling is finished, the syrup is ready to go into a bottle. It's sweet syrup with a great taste and can also be used when baking or is even poured over ice cream. If you are ever in the northeast of America, you should try some and even bring some home as a gift for someone. It's a very specific regional specialty. Imitation maple syrup can be bought all over the place and is rather cheap but nothing can match the taste of the real thing. You know, often when you're visiting another country, you're trying to think what would be a good souvenir to bring home. And I would say if you are in the northeast of America, or if you happen to be in Canada also, that bringing home maple syrup would be a very, very unique uh, souvenir and something that it's a very unique flavor that people haven't tried in other parts of the world typically. And I think whoever you bought it for would really appreciate your, your thoughtfulness. Well, now that you've watched my video to the end, let me tell you what words you should be using. If you're in America and you want blini, ask for crepes. It's a French word, actually. C-R-E-P-E. -E, crepe. Now, what you call what we call, our, or what pancakes really are in terms of what you serve here in Russia, are really more like aladi. 
Well, thank you for watching the video. It was my first one and not very professional, but thank you very much. I hope to hear or see you again. Goodbye.